Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing the really trending type of video at the moment, which is trying to follow someone else's makeup tutorial. And I've decided to do one of my like, top, top, top favorite beauty YouTubers. And that is Shana Grimmond. I freaking love her. I started watching her videos like three years ago at the beginning of 2015. And she was a huge inspiration to me to start my own channel because she's so talented and she's Australian like me. And I usually, especially at that time, couldn't find any Australian YouTubers. And I just love how open she is with her subscribers. She's taught me so much about makeup. I love her. And I just decided to try and follow one of her makeup tutorials. I actually haven't seen anyone else do her either, so I was like, what the heck, why not? So I'm gonna be recreating her My Bomb Ass New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. Yeah, and I've tried to copy her whole look, you know, with the bun and the white mesh top as she's wearing in her video. So I've got it all covered, you know? So we do have like some similarities with like makeup, like I love full coverage, she loves full coverage. We both love bold brows and big lashes. So hopefully this will work out really good. I don't have every single product that she has, but I've tried to get as like close as possible. And also I don't know who started this type of video of like following other people's makeup tutorials. So credit and shout out to that person. Sorry I don't know who you are, but if you know who they are, leave them below in the comments because credit should be given where it's due. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and also let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see from me next and without further ado let's just get started with the video okay so i've just zoomed you guys up close because we are doing our eyes first okay so i always start with my brows as well and she's starting with her brows okay so she's using the benefit brow zings little brow palette thing and i actually don't have that so i'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade because she does use the wax side first and this is like a wax anyways So I'm going to try and use like as close to her products as possible. So she's coming at her brows first Okay, so what she's saying she does is go in with the wax first and then go in with the powder after that so what I'm gonna do is go in with the pomade and shape my brows like she did and fill them in One thing I love about Shani is her brows. I love how like thick they are and I feel like they really like suit her face shape. We both love a good bold brow which is great. So I'm just going to quickly do the other eye. Okay, so she's starting off with her eyeshadow now. So she's just, I guess, primed her eyes off camera because they do look primed. And you can see that she's cleaned up underneath her brows, obviously like with some concealer. And I'm just gonna quickly grab some concealer. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. And I'm just gonna clean up underneath my brows and then prime my lids with this and set it with some translucent setting powder. And we'll just continue with the tutorial from the eyeshadow like she does. The first color I'm gonna take is this medium brown shade right here. And that's gonna be a translucent She's using a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. I don't have that palette so I grabbed a palette that has similar shades to the ones that she uses and the palette I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette and very similar to the first shade she's using is this shade here called Desert Sand so I'm going to be using that. Okay so she's applying that into her crease and it looks like she's using a fluffy crease brush so Okay, my brush is quite dirty at the moment, so sorry about that. We'll be cleaning them this week, but I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush. This is usually the second brush I use after applying my transition shade, but she's using a fluffy crease brush like this for the transition shade to begin with. So I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully it will still work out. And this shade does look a little bit lighter than the one she uses, but we're going to roll with it anyway. Okay, so she also said she blends up really high, so I'm going to do the same. I feel like she has a smaller eyelid space than me as well, so the eye look will definitely look a bit different, but that's okay. We'll try and do everything step by step. The next color I'm taking is this beautiful burgundy color right here, and I'm going to blend that into my crease with a Bedelium Tool. 
brush. Okay, so I don't have that brush, but the closest I feel like to that shape is this one I do have, which is Morphe M433, and it's just a bit more pointed. And you can see when she's applying it, her brush looks a bit more pointed as well. So I'm gonna use this again, it's a bit dirty. So don't mind that. She uses like a burgundy color. So the one I'm gonna be using is this shade here called Saffron. And she's just applying that into her crease. And as she said, windshield wiper motions. I'm gonna try my best to keep this as circular as I can around my crease. Just because I wanna create the illusion of like a bigger eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this circular as well, like she just said. I feel like I really gotta blend this out. It's looking a bit harsh at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to quickly blend this out. She doesn't do this in this step, but I'm doing it because you can see it's quite harsh. I'm just going to be picking up a little bit of the transition shade again, just to help blend that out. Okay, I'm actually going to change my brush. I'm going to use the one that I usually use, which is the Morphe E23. just feel like it works so good for my eye shape. Okay, you can see it's more blended out now. I'm gonna add a bit more of the crease shade again though, just to bring back the color a bit because I feel like I lost it a little bit. Now I'm kind of doing different steps to what she does, but I wanna try and make the look as close as possible to hers as well. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here and I'm just gonna pop that on the outer half of my eye to really deepen that area up. Okay, so she's using the same brush, so I'm going to do that as well. And she's just applying a dark brown shade to the outer half of her lid. So for that, I'm going to be using this shade up here called Oud. And just going to do the exact same thing she does. I actually love this makeup look on her. It looks so good. I love how deep and dark it is. So I'm excited to be recreating this. Okay, so she's just picked up a flat shader brush. So I'm gonna use this Kylie one from the birthday collection and she sprayed it with MAC Fix Plus. So I'm just gonna spray it with my rose water spray. And I love doing this step as well. I just feel like it makes shimmer shades way more pigmented and like metallic looking and I love it. So the color she's using looks like a pink orange iridescent shade. So the shade I'm gonna be picking up is just this one down here, it's called Angelic. It's basically like a pinky, sort of orangey, golden, iridescent shade. So let's apply that. So I've kind of just blended these two colors together by just like patting over it really lightly. And there's not much product left on the brush. So the next thing she did was clean up the edges of her eyes with a makeup wipe. So I actually never do this, but she said to blend out the eyeshadow a bit, go along with your finger. So I'm doing that right now. Okay, so she's actually jumping to mascara now and she didn't curl her lashes first. And if you know me and watch my videos, you know I always leave my lashes to last because my eyes always get super watery and stuff. And I just feel like if I do my eyelashes like now, then when I'm doing like my foundation and all like my bronze and all the other face powders, I feel like it just falls onto the lashes and will make them dirty. But it's okay, we're doing what Shiny says today. Bobby Brown, smoky eye mascara. I love this one so much. Okay, so I don't have that mascara, but I'm using this L'Oreal one. We're going to go along with the exact same eyeliner, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And she keeps her wing pretty small, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so she's using super dramatic lashes. I don't have those lashes, but I am going to use these other lashes. They kind of look a bit different to the ones she uses, but they are very dramatic. And they're by Alka Lashes. I'll leave my discount code for them down below in the description box if you want a discount for them. And I'm just going to quickly apply these lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on and she did say that after she applied her lashes, she blended out her eyeshadow a little bit more because she wanted her eyeshadow to be super blended. So I feel like mine's like blended enough. 
but her eyeshadow does definitely look darker than mine so I'm gonna go back in with a bit of the crease shade and that huge shade I applied on the outer half of my lid to deepen up the look a bit more and make it look more like hers I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base okay so I don't have that primer so I'm just going to be going in with my usual Becca backlight primer filter. This is more of a glowy primer. The one she uses isn't really glowy. But as I said, I don't have the one she uses. So I'm just going to be using this one. And she also uses a brush. But I don't have a brush for my primer. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers as I always do. So I'm kind of like doing this a bit different to what she's doing. But we have to make do with what we got, you know. So she used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I have the shade 3.75. She's obviously dark because she self tans and I don't so I'm going to be a bit lighter than her but we both have this. So she used her beauty blender so I'm going to do the exact same. And I also noticed when she was applying it, she applied it like straight into the area rather than dotting it all over her face and then blending it out, which is like what I usually do. But I'm going to do it the way she did it because I'm following her tutorial. And she's actually more so using the side, I just realized, of her beauty blender. So I'm going to do that now as well. Okay, so I do have that concealer, but I'm almost out of it and I want to use it for my birthday, so I'm trying to like save it. So I'll just go in with my other concealer that I have, which is the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in the shade Stone. This isn't as high coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, but as I said, I'm trying to save it. So I'm going to try and apply it the way she's doing it as well. Okay, so she just kind of like does sort of like a crescent moon underneath her eyes. And then brings it a bit down. Doesn't look like she applied anywhere else because she starts blending it out with her beauty blender. So I'm doing the same. She says she takes it into her inner tear duct as well. I don't have that. Okay, so she's applying that La Prayer powder underneath her eyes and on her laugh lines with her sponge. I don't have that powder, but I will be using my RC Mano Color Powder and apply it the same way she applied her powder. So what she did, it kind of just like melted into her skin, her powder. So she was like kind of baking but setting at the same time so she wouldn't have to wipe away the bake. I don't usually set my powder like this, but I really like it. It gave me like a, such a flawless look, I feel. Okay, she even applied it on her nose, she said, so let's do that. I really like how this looks so far. It doesn't look like exactly like hers because we do look different, but I'm liking the look. So to set the face, she uses like a full coverage sort of like foundation powder from MAC, the Studio Fix powder, but I don't have that, but I will be using the Australis Fresh and Flawless face powder, and this is so good, it is full coverage as well. So I'm going to be applying it all over my face, and I've got the shade Nude. So she sort of just like pounces it on her face, so I'm going to do the same. And as she said, put it on your ears and blend it down your neck. Okay, so people, we're making moves. We're going back into the eyeshadow palette. So she's going back into the dark brown. So I'm going to go back in with that shade Oud. It's the one we applied on the outer half of our lids. She uses like a very small pencil brush. So I'm going to do the same. And as she said, she keeps it super close to her lash line. I usually never do this with false lashes. So this is going to... Be a bit harder. Because my eyes are so sensitive, but we're doing it. So my eyes are order. If you smoke out the lower lash line, she goes back into the burgundy shade. So again, I'm going back into the burgundy shade saffron, and I found this brush that looks very similar to hers. Okay, that little lash line is so smoky. Mm -hmm, I really like that. You can see the difference of how much the eyes smoked out. Okay, 
Okay, there we have it. This one is Mr. Wright's eyeliner. Oh God, from the bar. So she's going with like a nude white sort of eyeliner. So I'm gonna do the same. I've got this ColourPop one. Not the same as hers, but she just warmed it up on. Oh, that just broke. I'm only doing this super lightly because my eyes always water when I do this. Okay, so that's all I'm doing because I feel my eyes are starting to water and we don't want that happening. Okay, my mascara to bottom lashes. And now she's setting the brows. She's using a coloured brow gel to set her brows but I don't have one so I'm just going to use my Anastasia clear brow gel and push my brows up like she did. Okay, I don't have that. I'm going to use my usual Anastasia contour to contour. She's using an angle brush, so I'm going to do the exact same. She kind of does it one side at a time by the looks of it in that video. Bronzer. And she's doing contour of her nose, I just realised. Okay, so she's using a more fluffier angled brush now. So I'm going to use this one from the Kylie Birthday Collection. Okay, so she uses a Ofra bronzer to begin with. I don't have that bronzer. Then she changes up to a Guerlain one, which I also don't have. But it's kind of like a warm bronzer. And I'll be using the Benefit Hula bronzer. You can't go wrong with this. A lot of people have this bronzer as well. Whoa, that brush picks up a lot of bronzer. Whoops, gotta blend that out. Okay, we all know that Shiny loves a good bronze and well, so do I. So make sure you just make yourself look super bronzed. All right, so I'm going back in with my RCMA powder to bake. Okay, and then she just wipes it away with her powder brush. Okay, I've just realized I don't have a lot of the products she's used in this video. I'm so sorry about that, but at least it like, like shows you guys other alternatives you can use to try and achieve as much of a similar look as possible. And I don't have that NARS blush, but I do have this Zoeva Wax Color Blush in the shade Last Love, and it's as close as the colors I could get. Her blush is a bit of a lighter shade than this, but that's okay. You gotta make do with what you've got, as I said. Okay, so she's using the same bronzer brush. I'm gonna be really careful with this brush because it is super pigmented. Everyone's been waiting for highlight. Okay, she's using an Ofra highlight, which I don't have. So I'm gonna be using an Anastasia and Resi highlight because this is just such a beautiful shade and it's like golden champagne -y, sort of similar to the one she uses. She actually uses two because she changes the one she was first using. So yeah, yeah, I feel like this is quite similar to the second one she ends up using. This is the Anastasia A23 brush. Using the same brush. Okay, can we just um take a moment for how blinding this highlight is without even spraying my brush with anything? Like I always, and you guys know, I always spray my brush before applying highlight because I love a blending glue. But look at that, oh my god. You can see my brush is way more effed up than hers. I should probably get a new one because, oops, oh my god, look at that. Wow. Okay, so she didn't apply the highlight anywhere else other than her cheekbones. I'm just gonna bring it up a bit here, just to carry the glow. I don't have that either. Okay, I don't have that, but it looks really similar to the Kylie Cosmetics Malibu lip liner. So I'm gonna go quickly care up that. Okay, so I'm going to glue line my lips with this liner and of course overline my lips a little bit because me and Shani both love a pouty lips, so let's do that. I feel like this looks a bit darker than the one she used, but then again, she also has a darker skin tone than me.
Okay, now lipstick. I'm gonna take these lipsticks by Buxom. So I will be using liquid lipsticks. And I feel like this is quite close to the shade she used. So the darker lipstick I'm gonna be using is the Malibu liquid lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics. And they're both by Kylie Cosmetics. And the second lighter one that I'm gonna apply in like the center of my lips to give that fuller lip effect is the shade Libra and this is just like a super pale pink shade again I feel like this is darker than the shade she used but hopefully when using the lighter shade it will lighten it down a bit because this is like quite a very pale pink okay now I'm going with the lighter one I've ended up like applying this everywhere because I feel like I needed to to make it look more like hers, like more pale. But that actually looks so good on top of the dark color and the darker liner. Okay, and then she went back in with the liner to give it some more definition. Now she's setting her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't have that, so I'm just going to be using the Mario Desco Rose Water Spray again. So she adds some like glitter onto the inner corners of her eyes and I don't have that type thing she uses. So I do have the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow type of thing. And I've got the shade Kitten Karma. I'm just going to use that. But she applies that glitter with like a pencil brush. And she did spray her brush with MAC Fix Plus. But you honestly don't need to with this. Like it's so pigmented. So what I'm going to do is just pick it up on this Morphe M138 pencil brush and then apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so I think that's enough. So she's highlighting her collarbones now. You've got to love a glowing body. My like, collarbones and stuff aren't really showing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm grabbing the same highlight from before. Look at that body glow. Okay, we're done. Okay, so now I've got my hoops on to just complete the look like she did. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I did a good job, if you think the makeup look looks like hers. I feel like hers is just more darker. Overall, I really, really like this look and I'm obsessed with this highlight. I really like how the lips turned out as well. I love the eyes too. I wouldn't usually do my makeup in this sort of order. I'm surprised that my eyelashes are still on and my eyes haven't watered them off. But if it was winter, they would be way off by now. Oh my god, this hair won't stop coming out. Again, I didn't have the same products and I'm so sorry about that. I know in these videos, you should have like at least most of the products be the same. But I didn't realize that I really like only had like the foundation and eyeliner. I think that was the same. But that just shows like you can use other products that you've got instead. And you don't always have to go out and buy the exact same products other people use and as i said at the beginning of the video i love shani i think she is so talented and if you don't watch her videos or what are you doing please go check her out i'll leave her channel and the tutorial to the makeup look i was recreating in my description box down below and i know i just freaking love her she's amazing and yeah i think she did an amazing job on this tutorial and this makeup look i think she looked incredible as she always does because she's stunning and yeah, I really, really like this makeup look and I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. Let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me next. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!